What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to use Simpson Strong Tie Epoxy. All right, so they sell two types of epoxy. Um, well, they sell different types, but some are double tube like this and some are single tube. You really wanna try and get the double tube. You gotta buy this device here, which is a little pricey, like 50, 60 bucks, but it works so much better than the single tube epoxies. Um, they also, when you buy it, you gotta make sure you don't get like the type that sets up instantly. They have some that sets up like super glue. This one takes 24 hours. And actually this one's discontinued. The new form of this set XP is actually the set 3G. All right, so you wanna open it up. And they have two nozzles here. First one's the mixing nozzle. So this, I don't need that extension. So I'm gonna throw that away. And then you're gonna pop this guy off. Just with your finger. Oh, it's a little on there. Yeah, there he goes. Okay, screw it on. Oh, throw it in. And okay. And then as you pump it, you're gonna see it come out the tube. And you gotta make sure it turns to a nice gray color once it comes out. See how it's white? That's not good. Okay, now it's getting a little more gray, so that's better. Okay, there. So now it's gray. You don't want to use the white. It's two parts. They got to mix together. You got to make sure of that. So this thing is ready to go. All right, so today what we're going to be using the epoxy for is to attach this beam to that column. So the beam runs from that house pocket, comes over, sits on this block column. Um, and we need to attach that beam to this column. I didn't build this column. This column was existing or else I probably would have wet set, you know, like an anchor bolt. Okay, so one thing you gotta do is drill into your masonry surface, whether it's concrete, block. Um, if it's block, you gotta make sure it's filled solid. If it's not filled solid, all the epoxy is just gonna fall in and go into oblivion. Um, I'm using a 5 8 bolt, threaded rod. So what that means is you need to use a size bigger for your drill though. So 5 8 bolt, and I got a 3 quarter inch drill bit. Um, we already drilled through the beam here, and we have little pockets here for this washer to sit into. And so the bolt's gonna go into that, oops, and then through here and attach it like that. Um, one thing that's really important is after you drill it, you gotta use an air nozzle to blow out like the dust, so watch. Okay, so yeah, you got to get all this dust out. They sell a brush you can use to brush it out too. Okay, I think I got most of it out. I drilled mine in about five inches. I'd say give it at least three to five inches of embedment. Um, now I'm going to fill them up. Okay, now you fill the hole with your epoxy. Now I'm gonna just fill mine to the top, but if you're working on a wall, like a vertical surface, you're going to not want to fill it all the way up because once you put your bolt in, it's all gonna come out and that's gonna drip down the wall. And if it does drip down the wall, clean it up immediately. You're also dry like a rock. So it's just an example, I'll show you once the bolt goes in, you want it to see it come out. You want to see it ooze out. That means it's working. That's just a little example. And then the bolt's gonna look like this and give it 24 hours, it'll be hard as a rock. Okay, that's trash. You can try, yeah, you really can't save the tubes. They're kind of a one day use kind of thing. Um, and now we're gonna put this beam back into place. Ready? Three, two, one. And I think we need to go just you with hair. Okay, now let me see the bolts. Okay, so this is already lined up right with the hole. So I, this by the way, like I have this bolt at 16 inches. So it's going down into the column that much, which is about five to four ish inches. Boom.
Okay, so these bolts go down through, through the wood, and now they are into the column, the hole we drilled, filled with the epoxy. And now you just leave these alone and you set, let these set overnight. So you come back tomorrow and then it will be hard as a rock. And you can tighten these down, whatever you want to do. And that's about it, guys. So if you got any questions, let me know. Jeremy, you got anything you want to add? Mm -mm. Okay. You covered everything pretty well. Yeah, I tried to. Mm -hmm. Try to make it easy for the for the folks back home. <laughs> All right, that's my video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope it helps you. Um, work safe. I bought some brackets to attach that beam to the wall. Okay. All right, guys. Here is the final completed project. Uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. If uh, it did help you, do me a solid and uh, like it. Leave a comment and please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel. Thank you, guys.